All right, guys, if you're trying to bulk up and add muscle right now, you're probably gonna have to eat more than you're normally used to eating. And if you're not careful, all these extra meals and all this extra food can really just kill your productivity and make it difficult to do your work, your cognitive work. And uh, you know, we have lives to live outside of training and nutrition. Most of us have got a job or a business to run and we wanna stay sharp mentally. And we just wanna have a life outside of training and nutrition. So how do you add muscle? How do you bulk up? How do you get jacked? without killing your productivity. That's what this video is about because I managed to do it, uh, you know, whilst working 12 hour days, okay? So it is possible, you just need to be smart about it. And I've got three simple tips for you to do that. If you do this, you'll become a beast, not only uh, in the gym, but also outside of the gym at work whilst you're working on your business, you'll stay mentally sharp and you'll just be good to go, right? So first step is meal prep, okay? You want to batch your meals because it's not just the eating time which takes up, which wastes time. It's going to the store, it's buying the groceries, it's coming back, it's preparing everything, it's cooking, it's the cleaning afterwards. Like all that takes up so much time. So if you can say once a week, just go to the store, buy all your groceries for the week, that means you've only gone to the grocery store once a week. That means if you just cook all your meals in one go, then you've done all your cooking and cleaning just once in a week. Now, if it's not fresh enough for you or by the, you know, the fifth and sixth day, it's just not tasting too good, then you could cook twice a week, okay? You could do it on like a Sunday or a Wednesday or something like that. Now, me personally, I'm not a big fan of meal prep. I did do it uh, you know, when I was younger, but now uh, I live in Bali. There's a lot of healthy food options. Uh, my disposal income is much higher now, so I'm in a position where I can just order food whenever I want it, and I actually just order the same thing every day. I made a video about that, which I'll link somewhere, but uh, the good thing about meal prep is it also reduces decision fatigue because you don't have to decide every single day what you're gonna eat because you already made that decision on Sunday, you already decided these are my meals for the week. So you've made that decision once and you've just saved yourself lots of decisions throughout the week. So not only are you gonna save time with not having to do the cooking and the cleaning and everything like that, but you also save mental energy and decision fatigue, which is a massive thing for productivity. It's massively overlooked, but it's why a lot of successful people will just wear the same clothes every single day. And so they don't have to waste mental energy deciding you know, what they should wear. They just have the same outfit every single day. And that's what meal prep gives you, is you just make the decision once for the week and then you have all your meals ready for the week, okay? So meal prep is the first one. The second one, now you might have noticed, if you eat a lot of carbohydrates, it can clog your brain up a little bit. And if you're trying to bulk, Ideally, you wanna be bulking with carbs because it's gonna help with muscle recovery, muscle performance. It's gonna be easier to get those calories in as well. It's much easier to bulk with high carb than low carb. It's still possible depending on uh, who you are. Like I can still do it, but uh, to be honest, it's definitely easier to eat more with carbs in your diet, okay? But carbs are not very good for productivity and mental performance. Um, so what do you do? Well, I actually made a previous video about this as well. But what I like to do is at the start of the day, I like to have my fats high and my carbs low, okay? So at the start of the day, my first couple of meals, my fats are gonna be higher and my carbs are gonna be lower. You probably still might need some carbs in there just to make sure you get enough carbs throughout the day. But as the day goes on, uh, you wanna increase your carbs and lower your fats. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help you stay mentally sharp throughout the day when you have to work. But towards the evening, you're still getting your carbs in, you're gonna benefit from having those carbs. And also, carbs are very good for just relaxing your body and helping you, uh, excuse me, helping you sleep better at night, okay? So, that's what I would do. Now, if you don't know what your calories should be, uh, you can go to a, a calorie tracker online, just Google calorie tracker, okay? You can find one, you can work out uh, you know, what your calories should be. Just add 300 or 500 calories extra, okay? Now you know your target calories. Your protein, you work out that out first, okay? So you wanna have one gram per pound of body weight. One gram per pound of body weight for your protein, okay? Then, for your fats, 
it's 0.3 grams per pound of body weight okay so you add up your protein you add up your fats and the remaining calories you have left you fill it up with carbs and ideally you push most of those carbs back to the start of the day and you have most of the fats at the earlier portion of the day that is going to keep your brain as sharp as possible now step number three is i see some people recommending to eat like five six or seven or even i've heard eight before eight meals in a day are you crazy like do you just spend all day in the kitchen or what i would say have fewer meals now for me personally this is not going to work for everyone but for me i could bulk on one meal a day like i can sit down and for a while we had like a, a all you can eat brazilian barbecue place just just down the road here i would go there at 5 p.m okay i wouldn't eat all day I'd fast all day go at 5 p.m. and just eat like 1.2, 1.5 kilograms of meat <laughs> just in one sitting. And I could do that quite easily, but not everyone is a savage like me when it comes to eating and some of you don't have as big of an appetite. Now, if you are struggling to get your calories in, you can add more meals or what you can do is actually just add liquid calories, okay? Liquid calories are gonna be so much easier for you to get those calories in. Like one of the golden rules when it comes to dieting and trying to get lean is don't consume liquid calories because it just increases uh, the calories consumed throughout the day without really filling you up at all. So liquid calories is something that you could uh, experiment with, especially like smoothies and stuff like that towards the end of the day though, because they're gonna be high carb. Maybe you could do protein shakes at the first part of the day personally i'm not a massive fan of protein shakes if you are going to do whey protein or any kind of protein powder make sure it's high quality make sure it's not full of crap guys okay but that's what i would do okay so i would have fewer meals for me i would never go above four you can do five but i think four is an absolute max there's no reason why you can't do two or three and have the rest with liquid calories okay so that's what i would do two or three meals, liquid calories, front load your fats, keep your carbs low at the start of the day, back load your carbs and keep the fats lower at the end of the day. And if you do meal prep once a week, ideally twice a week, you know, you're gonna be good to go. You're gonna have so much extra time and not only are you gonna have extra time, you're gonna be mentally sharp throughout the day so you can do your work, so you can be productive and so you can get stuff done and also build muscle and get jacked at the same time. All right, guys, so I hope this helps. Go out there, follow these steps, get jacked, be productive, and uh, kill it. All right, so you can head to jamesweetland.com for coaching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.